Uh, Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters, and uh, welcome back to normal. This is Abdi Muhammadur who is back in action. Okay, we are now we are finishing the concept of revelation. This is rule number six of revelation, where we say that you'll be told to revert a given point onto the line y is equal to plus or minus p, where p is a point of revelation for your information. Okay. B can be negative 3, you, you see that Y can be negative 3, it can be positive 5, you see that, they will give you a value, okay? And this is the last rule of revelation. The moment we finish this one, then you must be in a position to solve all questions from revelation. Yes, understand that? Uh, to start with, we have an example here on board. We are told a letter N has a vertex at A26, B36, then we have C, C, 3, 8, this is 3, 8, remember, 3, 8, and B, 4, 8. You are told full stop. You are told it is reflected in the Y axis. Rule number two. What will happen? The X coordinate will change the sign, but, but Y will not change the sign. Don't forget that. Followed by, there's another reflection again. Followed by a reflection in the line Y is equal to 2. So, already you are given point of reflection. This one, y is equal to plus or minus b. Our b is 2, now y is positive. So now you are told to determine the coordinates of the final image. So you are expected to get the coordinates of the final image. So uh, coming to the solution part here, coming to the solution part, what we know is we have the points. We have a as, as 2, 6, we have A as 2, 6, B as what? 3, 6. Then we have C as 3, 8. Then we have D as what? D as 4, 8. So you are told the first time, you are told, go back to the, to the statement. It is reflected in the Y axis. Right here, Y axis. Do you know what will happen? That's rule number two. The x coordinate will change the sign. So the first image will be a prime, negative 2, 6. Please understand. That's rule number 2. You must have read this thing. Then p prime will be negative 3, 6. Then c prime will be negative 3, 8. Then our d prime will be negative 4, 8. So what's happening? If a point is reflected onto the y-axis, the x coordinate of the point of the point changes the sign, but y will remain the same. So we are giving negative values to the x coordinates, yeah. So followed by, which means we will have followed by y is equal to. We are told y is equal to two. So we want to get a double prime. We want to get what a double prime. So we say that we said in our rule number six. If you go back and read this thing you will see that when a certain point is reflected in the point y is equal to plus or minus p, the formula of getting the image point will be, look here, this is the formula we're using, okay? y is equal, this is the formula we're going to use, if a certain point is reflected onto the line y is equal to plus or minus p. So this is x comma 2p minus y. This is the formula we're going to, to use. And remember, already this is your x. So I want to reflect, I have a prime as negative 2, 6. So this x, this y coordinate. My point of reflection is what? Is b is, is, is equal to what? It's equal to 2. Using this formula, a double prime will be, look here, a double prime. So can't you see now x will never be affected now? So it's negative 2 comma. Let me go for y. 2b, 2 times b, which is 4. 2 times 2 is what? 4. Minus the y coordinate of the point. So negative 4 minus, not negative 4, sorry, it is 2b. Our b is positive, remember. So we're going to say 2 times 2, 4. 4 minus y coordinate. Our y coordinate is what? 6. 4 minus 6, it will be negative 2. So a prime will be negative 2, comma, negative 2, a double prime. And the reflection onto the line y is equal to 2. Because you are saying, this is the formula you're going to use, x comma 2b minus y. From this formula, x will never be affected. So, 
L prime will be negative 2, right? Already this one, negative 2, it will not change. But what's going to change is y coordinate using the formula. 2b minus y, where y is the coordinate of the, y, uh, of the, of the point, y coordinate of the point. So you're going to see 2 times 2, because our b is 2. Minus y coordinate, our y coordinate is 6. So 2 times 2 is 4 minus 6, so negative 2. So if I want to get b del prime, so what will I do? Write negative 3, comma. Then what, what will I do? I will say 2 times 2. 2 times 2, because b is 2. My, that will be 4. 4 minus again, 6. So that will give you what? Negative 2 again. Just understand. Then go to c prime, c del prime. Try this one, negative 3, because it will never be a vector. 2 times 2 again is 4. It will not change. 4 minus, minus 8 this time. That's negative 4. 4 minus 8. 4 minus 8 is negative 8. Then you can even calculate over here. 2 times 2 again is 4. Because we have our b as 2. Remember b is what? b is 2, is the point of relation. 2 times 2, 4, minus the y coordinate again which is also 8, so this will be, g del prime will be negative 4, comma, this will not change. 2 times 2, 4, minus 8 is negative 4, okay? So, what are you going to do? You are going to plot the object point, followed by the, show them please, followed by this one, followed by this one. And remember, we say that the line y is equal to 2 will pass this point, look here, and it must be drawn. So when this is the Cartesian plane, remember this is our Cartesian layer, x-axis, y-axis. So we have, let's say, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So your third one. The line y is equal to 2. This is the one. So draw a straight line here, which passes through y is equal to 2. Then on top of that right, y is equal to 2. Yeah, you see now? Drawing the line is must. I told you the other day. Drawing the line is what? It's must. M-U-S-T in capital. So, and make sure you also draw the object point. The first image point. Show them, please, that you have done something sensible. Then draw the last or the final image. Okay? But you see now it's very easy. This is how you are going to do question, questions based on rule number six, where we say that a point is reflected onto the line y is equal to plus or minus b. Yeah? You see now, and the line must be drawn. Point the line of reflection must be drawn. Yeah, okay. This is very very significant uh, in KCAC or in an examination. My brothers and sisters, for information, I'm done with the reflection. Go back to the rules. Go back to the examples. Okay? I gave you all the examples, by the way. Examples of concerning about the rules. Go back and read. Do research. Then in our next session, we are going to start rotation, which is also very, very important, by the way. Followed by enlightenment. Then after that, the condensed questions of these three uh, concepts, which always comes in uh, KCC. Otherwise, I wish you the best. This was short and brief, but to the point. Make sure you do research. My boys, form twos. Form threes and four balls. Make sure you do this thing, yeah? Otherwise, I wish you the best. Please subscribe and share. Don't be greedy. Subscribe and share this YouTube channel. It's an academic channel. Yeah? It's helping people who are currently stranded or restricted at home level by COVID-19. May God bless them and give us best health. Okay? Otherwise, I wish you the best.